board of control for cricket in India is taking Baijus to the company's court. NCLT over defaulting on dues worth 160 crores. That is correct. The board had in September filed an application before the Bengaluru bench of NCLT against Think and Learn Private Limited, the parent company of Baijus. The case pertains to the dispute around sponsorship rights of the Indian cricket team's jersey. It was on November 15th that the Bankruptcy Tribunal registered the matter for further hearing and the NCLT website indicates that the case is set to be heard again on December 22nd. Baijus on the other hand on Tuesday said it is in talks with the BCCI to settle a pending insolvency matter filed against it in the Bengaluru NCLT. The EdTech firm had been a partner of the Indian cricket team since 2019 with its branding featured on the front of the team's jersey. In June last year, Baijus extended its sponsorship rights with the BCCI till November 2023. The EdTech firm had asked the board to encash 140 crores of bank guarantees while the remaining 160 crores was to be paid in installments. The development comes months after Baijus announced that it would not renew its branding partnerships, citing cost-cutting. The problem for Baijus is compounding as it scrambles to raise funds. The company's former employees that were a part of the layoff cycle are yet to get their full and final settlements, highlighting the depth of the cash-strapped company's troubles. As per sources, the company's focus is first to settle all its full and final dues and then move on to settle other pending dues like BCCI. The company is in the process of selling its US-based online book reading platform Epic and also its dollar-earning asset Great Learning to ease the debt burden. Baijus had been under fire for the past few months over delayed financial results, resignation of high-profile board members and designated auditor Deloitte. Cases of Foreign Exchange Management Act Enforcement Directorate inquiries have also been troubling the Baijus. With BCCI taking the embattled EdTech firm to NCLT, the problems are only rising for the company. But the company, as per industry sources, is slowly and steadily manoeuvring all the crises by taking on new professional appointments and getting industry veterans like ex-Infosys CFO Mohandas Pai and ex-SBI Chairman Rajneesh Kumar on their advisory board. The case with BCCI is also set to enter the final round of negotiations and this space would be an interesting one to watch. Stay tuned to Live Mint for more such interesting updates.